In 2045, you're going to be sitting at the table telling your grandkids about 2023, the year when AI changed everything. It's hard to comprehend, but this moment right now is as big of a deal as the Wright brothers' first flight, Sputnik, the moon landing, the birth of the internet. Some are saying AI is more important than all of those things. Artificial intelligence is already helping us read minds, decode animal languages, and drive vehicles. And that's on top of the more boring stuff like detecting cancer and revolutionizing the field of molecular biology. In this video, I'm going to try to break down how this mind-blowing technology works. AI tools like ChatGPT are powered by LLMs, or large language models. Think of it as computer software that's really good at creating stuff. All kinds of stuff. Emails, poems, scripts, business plans, recipes, and even software code. Language models can write because they've seen all sorts of examples of what we write and how we write. We're talking like literally everything on the internet. The LLMs digest up billions, even trillions of words, and then they use the most powerful supercomputers ever created to play essentially a guessing game to figure out what words should come next over and over and over and over again. Okay, for example, we start with a phrase like, first you add the tomato sauce and then, the AI is gonna start guessing. At first, it's wildly wrong. But millions of attempts later, it eventually gets to something like, then you stir in the onions and reduce the pot to a low simmer. Presto, it has figured out that this is a recipe for making spaghetti and meatballs. We now have a large language model. And just to be clear, the AI doesn't know that you want a pasta recipe, but it does know that tomato sauce is often the first ingredient in the 600,000 pasta recipes that it's read. Okay, so that was a fun example, but you're probably still wondering what an LLM actually is. So let's break it down. To understand LLMs, you need to know two things. What kind of data are we feeding the AI and how does it learn from all that data? The training data is pretty much anything the engineers can get their hands on. Books, blog posts, articles, memes, scripts, restaurant menus, social media threads. And it's not just the best books or the best posts, but all of it. Good, bad, trashy, or otherwise. You may be wondering if that's a problem. We're gonna have to get to that another time. Once it's assembled this massive data set, the language model then tries to figure out the underlying patterns. For writing, it's looking at things like individual characters, words, syntax, phrases, and structure. The goal, win guessing games like the spaghetti challenge we just talked about. Tools like ChatGPT added a special sauce to this mix that took things to the next level, human feedback. They enlisted thousands of real people to help train the AI to get even better at the guessing game by rewarding or penalizing it based on its performance. Combine all of that and you get a tool that can do some truly incredible stuff. Need a Q4 marketing plan with KPIs by department? Language models can do that. Want help writing your vows in a poem that incorporates pie for a pizza themed wedding? They can do that too. What about an essay on the impacts of macroeconomic policy on the 1985 Live Aid benefit concert? Easy. And so far, we've just covered language. The same technique, massive data plus gamification of pattern recognition, can be applied to other domains like biology, software, music, video, art, speech, and even whale songs. So the techno revolution unfolding beneath our feet basically boils down to fancy text prediction. Now, why will you be telling your grandkids about the year 2023? It's because prior to the release of ChatGPT, only a few hundred people had the chance to play around with LLMs. Now, all of a sudden, the world has at its fingertips this insanely powerful new tool, and we're still collectively wrapping our minds around what this means for our work, our lives, and humanity. So this Thanksgiving, you can kick off the awkward dinner table conversation by laying down some truth about LLMs, and maybe this year you go with spaghetti instead of a turkey. Want to learn more? Check out the links in the description for a glimpse into the future and see some examples of large language models in action.